Hi everyone, my name is Stacy Schwartz. I'm gonna take you on a quick walk around the farm and highlight some of the forages that we have here that we use specifically for rabbits. All right, let's go. This forage is mulberry. It is very good for rabbits because it is, it is high in amino acids that other forages are lacking and it creates really beautiful new growth with very broad leaves that are both nutritious and delicious. You'll find that when you feed this to your rabbits, they eat all of it first. When cutting mulberry for forage production, you want to make sure to cut only the stems that are about the size of your thumb and their width because then new growth that comes from the node underneath where you've cut can generate those long, beautiful new growth stems that are healthy and nutritious for the rabbits. The best time to cut mulberry is right after they've finished fruiting. Although if you are managing them as a forage bank and have tightly spaced individual trees for forage, you can cut them whenever is ideal for you. Cutting them after they're done fruiting is more appropriate when you have a tree for fruit and you use it for forage. This is another forage that is high specifically in lysine, which is an amino acid that's rare to find in other forage crops. It is a legume. Its name is Desmodium rinsoni, and it's best to propagate by seed and then to get the plants transplanted out um, so that they can form a deep tap root. This forage does not do as well with cuttings because it doesn't form a tap root from cuttings. The leaves are very soft to the touch and are very delicious to rabbits. And because of that lysine, they're very important in meeting a complete nutritional balance for rabbits. These are the seeds of Desmonium rinsoni. You can also feed the seeds to rabbits, although most of the time, if you're cutting them for forage, they won't get to the point where they produce seeds like this. This is napier grass, and whenever you cut and forage for napier grass, you want to make sure to get very low so that you don't develop woody tissue at the base, and instead you get nice green growth coming all the way from the base of your grass. But rabbits don't like to eat this hairy center stem of the napier. They really only enjoy the new green growth of the leaves. Also, you want to make sure when you're cutting your napier to cut about every four weeks because that is the ultimate nutritional window. Beyond four weeks, it starts to get more fiber content and less nutritious. This forage is called red mombin and it is really great because rabbits love it and will eat quite a bit of it and it has no toxicity for rabbits. The only downside to red mombin is that it's very difficult to propagate either by seed or by cutting. We have had to resort to taking cuttings the size of your arm and sinking them in the ground about three feet. But you can see these were planted um, just two years ago and we've gotten lots of healthy forage off of them. And we're able to cut it several times a week in order to um, feed it to the rabbits. We also have been able to make it into a living hedge. This is Tithonia or Mexican sunflower. You can see it forms these bright yellow sunflowers, but its leaves are very different from the annual sunflower and it is a perennial. So it will keep coming back as you forage for it. And you, as you can see, it generates a lot of biomass. And so this is a great one to depend on for a larger portion of your feed source for your rabbits. You can feed about 30% of their diet with Tithonia. One thing to be cautious about with Tithonia is that it may be invasive. So make sure to check first that it doesn't have invasive tendencies in your region.